Hi everybody and welcome to the Pokey Fam. Today we will be doing an instructional video of how to learn how to play Pokemon. There's lots of different ways you can learn how to play and probably one of the easiest ways to get started if you've never played before um, is to use what's called a trainer kit. We got one from the XY training series uh, Pikachu, Libre, and Suqueen. Uh, but there's lots of different ones out there. They all work the same. They basically come with uh, 60 cards that are set for uh, to teach you how to play. Uh, 30 cards per set. That's right. And then it also comes with punch out damage counters, a poison marker, a burn marker. Uh, then also has a plastic metallic looking coin that you can use to flip for heads or tails. Uh, and a neat little... Uh, play mat to show you where everything's supposed to go and it's really great uh, to get started with because it shows you what to do step by step uh, for each turn. It reminds you that you need to draw a card, attach energy, put both Pokemon on the bench and all the different actions that are av available each turn just as a way to help you learn when you're first getting started. It also has these instructions that show step by step what to do as a practice game. Uh, one for Pikachu Libre in ours, and one for Suqueen. And uh, like Hannah mentioned, we also comes with 60 cards. These are different than normal because they are set to show um, in a specific order. When you look at this box and you open it up, make sure you, uh, if you get this one or another one, there's a blue marker in the bottom corner. The other one has a little yellow one that looks like Pikachu. Uh, and then numbers 1 through 30 out of 30 for each of them. And you just basically start with the number 30 face down and just keep going until you get to number 1 and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now this one doesn't play like a normal game because it already has a determined outcome. It's just so you can learn the steps uh, of what to do each turn. And after you've done this two or three times, uh, you probably will get to the point where you're ready to play a real game. At which point, if you still are using just the trainer kit, which is perfectly fine, you can then take and shuffle them up and play it as if it's a real game flips of coins and everything else that goes with it. But today we're just going to go ahead and follow the instructions that are printed out on our instruction sheet and show you how it works. Ready to go? Sure. Okay. Now if we read our instructions, it says the first thing to do is you would normally flip a coin to see who goes first. And so you would flip a coin if it came up head and the pers person flipping it asks the other person to call it. When it flips, they'd call. Heads. And when it lands, heads, she would get to go first. But because this is or a... Or second if I choose to. She would get to choose if she wants to go first or second. Uh, according to the rule of the uh, instruction book, though, Pikachu's team is going to go first. We're going to pretend that she won. Well, she did anyways. But <laughs> yeah. she's going to go ahead and choose to go first. At that point, you then deal six cards to each player from their deck. Seven. Oh, I'm sorry, seven. Three, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Then you determine who is your going to be your active Pokemon. That goes in this spot here. And then any extra basic Pokemon can go onto the bench. Um, again, you would normally get to choose what you want to do. But this one says, for my side, to put Eevee into the active. And to put Ducklet on the bench. Which one did it say for you to do, Hannah? Um, Glamio in the active and Tello on the bench. Okay. And then you keep your hand normally where no one can see it. You keep it uh, to the side. Uh, but for your for teaching y'all, we'll show you occasionally what's in our hand. Or um, if you want, you can just put it down on the mat to where it's distinct that it's your hand. Right. Usually you put it somewhere near the bench, but not in the bench area so that they don't get confused and think that it's some Pokemon. Yeah, All right. So I just put it sideways. All right. So next you put prize cards. In a normal game, you would play six prize cards, but because there's only 30 in each deck, you just put three. Or All if right. you're like going to pre-release, it would be four because it's a 40 card deck. Yes. Different special sets determine uh, different prices. All right. So now we're ready to go. And the next thing you do after you set up your prizes and who's going first is you uh, traditionally will wish your opponent good luck. Good luck. There you go. Good luck to you. And then you begin. All right. So Hannah's going first. Okay. What's Glammeow going to do? So I'm going to draw... It's an electric, and it, so it says put it on the bench, and then attach an energy to Glamiel, and to pass, because on my first turn, and since I went first, I cannot attack. That's right. For the special rule is that whoever goes first does get to do things, but they can play supporters, attach energy, but they can't evolve on their first turn, and they can't attack on their first turn. 
now it's my turn. It says to draw a card. Uh, it's a Froki, so it says go ahead and put on that on the bench and attach a water energy onto your Eevee. And because I'm going second, I can now attack, so I will do tackle. Um, we're instead of using the little cutout punch out markers, we have these little markers that are dice uh, to keep track of the damage. So I declare tackle and she puts 10 on there. It's important that you declare which attack you're doing and that it matches the amount of energy required for it. As you see on my Eevee, it requires one colorless, meaning it can be any kind of energy to do tackle for 10 damage. Lunge requires two energy of any kind, but it does 30 and requires a flip of a coin to see if it does the attack. All right, now it's Hannah's turn. Okay, so now I draw. It's Blitzel, so it says put it down on the bench. And now it says to um, attach another energy onto Glam Meow. Glam Meow. Um, and then to attack with Scratch for 20. Okay, she has two energy on there, so she can do the Scratch attack. And I put the marker on there for 20 damage. And then it's my turn. So my second turn, I draw a card. Now it's Seeking. Seeking is a stage one. That means it can only be, it can't be placed directly on the bench. Uh, so it must evolve from uh, Goldeen, which I do not have. So I have to hold that in my hand this turn. And then I can attach an energy, it says, to my Eevee. And I can also evolve my Froakie, because I do have a Frogadier in my hand. It's a stage one. Froakie's been on the bench for a whole turn, so he can evolve. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then my instructions say on step two, after evolving, to go ahead and attack with lunge attack. And like I said a second ago, it requires that I would flip a coin. So normally what you would do is you would flip the coin, and I got a tail, so it did nothing. However, for the sake of this game, just to learn how this works, it says assume that you actually got a heads, and the lunge attack does 30 damage. So now it goes up to 40. Okay, so now it's my turn, so I will draw a card. It's mana trick, and so it says to evolve the luck trick. There we go. And then to um, attach an energy to um, mana trick. And that's a good idea to do because if you'll notice um, on Glammeow, after you use two energy, it doesn't need more. Uh, you can always add extra, but it doesn't give it any benefit. So she might as well go ahead and start getting Mana Trick ready to go for it's a turn to attack later on. And I'll attack with Eevee. I mean, I'll attack Eevee with Glammeow with Scratch. All right, and that does 20 damage. So 20 plus 20 is 40. And I'll go ahead and put that there. I like to put the markers up near the picture area so that you can still see what the attacks are. But there's really no rule that says where you have to put it. You just put it somewhere on the card. All right, my turn. So for my third turn, I draw a card. This time I got Golding, so I'm going to put it on the bench. Uh, I do have Seeking in my hand, but I can't evolve because I just placed Golding down, so I have to wait a turn. But my instructions say to attach a Water Energy to Frogadier. And then, once that's done, I can then go ahead and attack with Eevee with Lunge. Uh, again, it says, assume that you get a Heads, so it does 30 damage, and that's a knockout. Now, when a Pokemon is knocked out, it goes from the active, with all the cards attached to it, into the discard pile. I then take a prize, and it's now, and Hannah has to promote to the active. It says to promote Mana Trick. Mm-hmm. And so now it's my turn. So I draw a card. It's Pikachu Libre. So it says to put him on the bench. Oh, look, they're right next to each other. So um, it says to put him onto the bench and then to um, attach your basic energy to and it. to yeah. use Bite for the knockout. All right, so 40 damage. 40 plus 40 is 80, which exceeds 60, so that's definitely a knockout. And I Eevee, take one prize. And I'm promoting Frogadier. And now it's my turn. Fun fact about Pikachus, the way you can tell the difference if it's a boy or a girl is its tail. The girls have heart-shaped tails, while the boys are just plain lightning bolts. Yep, that's pretty cool, right? 
Um, so I drew a soup queen, so I'm going to go ahead and place it on my bench. Uh, it also, the instructions say to go ahead and evolve my goldeen, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it says to attach an energy. I have only one on my frogadier. I need two, so I'll add another one to him. And I can now do uh, my cut attack for 30 damage. All right, and now it's Hannah's turn. So there's a 30. So now I will draw. It's electrobus, so place it down over the bench. And then it says to, um, oops, where did I flip it? Now it says to attach an energy to Pikachu Libre. Yep. And now, um, to attack with Matrix Bite for 40 damage. Okay, so 40 damage onto my Frogadier. Put that there. I then draw. I got a potion. And when I flip mine over, it says to take the potion and use it. Now these are uh, item cards. You can use as many item cards in turn as you want. So I'm going to use potion. And it says heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Well, this is the only one that needs healing. So 40 minus 30 is 10. So you flip that over to 10. And then this goes into the discard pile. And then I will attach an energy. It tells me to go ahead and put that onto the Sioux Queen. So I will. And now I can use Cut Attack for 30. And that moves that one up to uh, 60 for Mana Trick. Okay, so now it's up to 60. Right. Okay, so now it says to draw. And it's a Fetchling, so it says to put it down onto the bench. Let me just scoot some of this over. Yeah, and this is her fifth Pokemon on the bench, so that's the last one she can put on the bench until it clears out an extra spot. You can only have five on the bench at a time. Now it says to evolve Electrobuzz into Electrobire. There we go. I have no cards in my hand. And <laughs> to um, now use Bite Attack for 40 more damage. Okay, so 10 plus 40 is 50. If I can find the five on here, there we go. Good thing you healed him last turn, otherwise yeah. it would have been a KO. It would have been a knockout for sure. There's 50. Alright, I draw. I get a Piplup. It says go ahead and put Piplup on the bench. So I do. And then I do Cut Attack for knockout. 30 damage plus 60 is 90. That one goes into the discard pile. I take a prize and she promotes one of her Pokemon. It says to put a Pikachu Libre. Things are about to get spicy. <laughs> and I like spicy nachos. Okay, so now it says to, um, let's see. Draw a card. Draw. Attached to Pikachu Libre. She got the lightning energy she needed. And quick attack. And it's and it says flip a coin if heads this attack does three more damage. We'll just assume that I got it. And so it is a KO. That's right. If it was a tails, it would have only been ten damage. But because we're doing a heads, that makes forty. So this is ninety, which is more than enough to knock him out. So I take one it's, prize. It says promote the Sioux Queen. Alright, so I draw a card. It's a water energy. And it says to go ahead and attach the water energy to uh, my Sioux Queen to attack with Spiral Drain which does 20 damage and then it's your turn. You already know what's coming on when you see this. Right. She has to put her damage on there. So it's 20 damage. Alright, so now she draws. Draw. It's a lightning energy. It says to attach an energy onto Pikachu Libre and flying electric kick for 50. But if yeah. you look at the bottom um, left, I believe, corner of Sukane, it has a lightning energy symbol and then times two underneath weakness. So that means lightning Pokemon does times two more damage to Su to that specific Pokemon. So yeah. it does a total of 100 damage for the knockout and game. Yeah, so that's an important thing to remember when you're playing is to look at the weakness against the type of Pokemon you're playing and make sure you don't set yourself to get knocked out. Well, that's how the uh, trainer kit works. Um, like I said, after you've played it two or three times, uh, you probably will get to where you really feel comfortable 
and then just take the cards, shuffle them up, and play it as a regular game, and then you're ready to move on to other ways to advance your game and to improve your skills as a Pokemon player. But if you guys want to see more videos, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and ring that little be bell to never miss an upload. And see you next time on the PokeFam. Goodbye!